Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be looking at the implementation of the data structure try which is used commonly for storing and searching strings and uh, we'll be focusing on the implementation only but a uh, quick recap of what a try is is that you can think of it have as uh, starting from the root and each element will have a children of 26 pointers 0 to 25 where each index is representing a letter for example 0 represents A 25 represents Z, 1 represents B, like that. And if the pointer points towards null, for example, 1 here points towards null, so B is not there. And A, 0 points towards something, so A is there. And then after A, we go to A, so here we are A. And from A, B points towards something, so B is there. But A does not point toward anything, so A, A is not there. So that is how we'll work. We'll have an element, and every element will have a pointer of 26 elements and we'll call that array as children for example root here is a pointer of 26 elements and each pointer can point toward another element for a point towards another element and this also again has a array of 26 pointers so let's get to it so the element which i uh, mentioned will be a structure so we'll have a struct and we'll call it try just a name and then as I said, it will have a children array. So an array of, uh, let's call it, we're calling it children of 26 elements from 0 to 25, each representing a letter. And then we'll have a Boolean end of word. So basically it will tell me whether at that point the word is ending or not. For example, suppose I have A, B, C. So I want to search whether A, B is there or not. So if at B end of word is true, meaning that A, B is a word. So with that, I can find whether a word is present or not. So this is this will be our element, and then for getting node, we'll have a element. Uh, we'll have a function called get node. So this is a simple utility function. This will return to me a empty node or an empty element. You can think of element as a node. Same thing. So start that get node as it will be dealing with pointers also and void doesn't take anything and let's remove this yeah so get node what we'll do is it will have a struct try and we'll have a star say p node one node empty node temporary it doesn't matter is equal to new and it's a new type of try and its boolean end of word will be what false so p nodes boolean end of word here is equal to false so with this, what we're doing simply is we're making a node, a temporary node, and we're making its end of word as false. And for each of its children, they'll be pointing towards null. So i less than 26, i plus plus. So initially, it will be empty. So i less than 26, i plus plus, and each of its children will be pointing towards null. So p children of i is equal to capital null and then we'll be returning that node return p node so simply in this what we're doing is we're making a p node as a node as an empty node uh, with which all the children are null and its end of word is false so just a simple utility function now we'll look at the function insert so we'll be insert inserting it to the root so Let's just write that down. Uh, insert, yeah. So basically, void insert. It it's more. It won't be returning anything. So void insert, and then it will have struct. A try. Root. So as I said, we'll have a root in which we'll be inserting the string which we get. And so initially, we'll make a temporary node again. And let's call it star p and we'll make this equal to root so now you can think of p as basically the root and then from the p we'll be making whatever string is there or not and then find the length of the string so basically for each character of the string we'll be traversing through the string and each character i'll be adding it to the try in its proper place so i less than n i plus plus now, 
I will be finding each character of the string and uh, corresponding to that character, I'll find the index. For example, A will have the index 0, B will have the index 1. So int k will be s of i minus a. So this will give me the index of that character. So if what I'll be doing is at that index, I'm checking if a letter is already there, then I need to go forward. If it is not there, then I'll be simply making, I'll be simply giving it another node. So if let's just check if that is null or not. So if p of children of k, if it is not equal to null, this is simply checking if it's children of that element of that index is not null, then we make it a new node. We give it a new node. So children of k is equal to using our utility function get node. Uh, yeah. Now, after we do this, we go to that. So p is equal to p children of And then at the end, at the final, we say its end of word is equal to true because now the string has ended, our word is there. So p of end of word is equal p of end of word is equal to true. So again, in insert what we did, we had a p, a temporary node. And then for example, suppose I get a in the first try. So I go to k and it is equal to null. P's children of z uh, 0, k will be 0 is equal to null. So that is equal to new node. Now a is already there. Now suppose I get another string ab which I have to add. a I have already added. So I want to add ab now. So for that what I'll be doing is I'll be getting a k0 and it's now not equal to null. So I'll go forward and so it now it's now at a. So when I get b I'll be adding b after a. So that is how it works. So now that we've got insert let's look at search so this is how we insert the elements so we'll say void uh, actually not void because it will be returning whether the num whether the string is there or not so bool search and again with this we'll get the root and the string which we need to search so struct try tar root of tar root and then the string which we're searching for string is. Now, while searching, three things will happen. Either, suppose I'm searching for AB. So either AB will be there, or AB is not there, ABC is there. Or suppose I'm searching for ABC. So I'm searching for ABC, three things will happen. One, that ABC is there, then we've got our number. Two, that AB is there. Then in this case, we haven't got a number, or three, a b c d is there so in the first case a b c is there no problem but here it is ending before the string so we haven't gotten a number and here it is not ending at c so the boolean end of word is not true at c so we don't have a word so these will be the three cases generally which we'll be dealing with so let's get back to the search yeah so again we'll because we don't want to mess up the root again we'll have a, a temporary say node let's call it p again is equal to root okay again basically the same thing because we'll be uh, traversing through each character and finding whether it's null or not so s dot length oh. oh. about this so int n is equal to s dot length for int i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus so if at any point, if it's equal to null, if the k is equal to null, then I'll be returning because it's not there. So suppose that I'm searching for a and I go to zero and zero is null. So a is not there like we discussed in the example just before. So for each uh, a character, I'll be searching at its index. So which is again s of i minus a. Now, if uh, P's children of K, if it, it points towards null, then simply return false because our number is not there. So, with this, 
we will be returning false and otherwise p is equal to p children of k so if a so now that we have uh, searched for the string that we were searching for so now we need to check for two things like i said there will be two things that will happen so first if uh, i'll just write it in one line so it's easier so first thing that p's end of word now should be true so for example if i have a b c d and i searching for a b c so i come to a b c now if c's end of word is not true meaning that we don't have a b c i'm searching for a b c and we have a b c d so we come to c its end of word is false meaning we don't have the word or the string and one more thing p should not be null because if p is null meaning that our string is not there so two things should be true p not equal to null should be true meaning that p should not be null and p end of word should be actually we should write this before p not equal to null and so p should be not equal to null and p end of word should be true so end of that meaning both should be true so that's what we're doing in search we're search we're going to that letter if it is equal to null simply return false if it is if it is there then we go towards it then finally if our end of word is true and it is not equal to null then we got our word present so we'll just get some examples so say string a is equal to or we can simply say insert some first we have to make the uh, root so struct try because we have to send the root in every functions as we saw so is equal to get node we can make use of this again and now let's add some for example let's add uh, insert insert root comma a b c and let's insert so we this is what we have in the uh, let's say a b c d e and let's insert a b or uh, we have a b c let's insert a or a b so this is good enough and uh, let's just, let's just see if it compiles. I hope it does. P was not declared in this scope. Ah, we did this P node. Ooh, no, 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 P. Yeah. Oh, we have P node, so let's do P node only. Here also, let's do P node. Variable name, no matter. okay so with this we've inserted to our roots these strings now we'll search and see whether it's working or not so see out search root and let's search for a and oh let's just see this first doesn't matter so a as you can see is not present so this should give what zero zero is well false only and uh, let's say a b a b is there so well one it doesn't look good this way let's just say ah uh, it's fine anyways and let's say now a b c so as you can see we have a b c d e we have a b c d e p but we don't have a b c so this should give us zero so this gives us zero or you can have even a bigger example and now let's have something bigger than what we have so we have a b c d e p we are searching for a b c d e p a e p a so this should give us false also so this is also giving us zero so this is how it works we just have two simple functions insert and search and our node or our main element is a structure called 
try. So this was the implementation of data structure try in C++. I'll be making another video on theory also. So if this video helped you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.